praise the lord hallelujah blessed be the mighty name of the lord jesus christ in this wonderful and blessed morning dear children of god let us together on the year of 2021 on this march 28th sunday morning to worship our god to praise our god our heavenly father for every wonderful opportunity let us tell him thank you from the depth of our heart hallelujah thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you last full morning our lord protected us even last night he gave us good sleep and blessed us with good health and healing to be awake this morning our heavenly father for every wonderful opportunity let us tell him thank you dear children of god everyone take some time and worship the lord praise him it is a grace of god we are healthy today it is a grace of god we are healed today it is a grace of god we are alive today remembering his great grace give god the glory where we are today let us tell our lord how good you are lord how faithful you are you are a god who is more than enough how great is your love towards us how great is your grace towards us how great is your mercy towards us for that love thank you for your grace thank you for your mercy thank you father we worship you father we praise you for all that you have done for us for the way you are leading us for the way you are protecting us for everything we are telling you thank you thank you thank you everyone take some time and worship the lord the psalmist is saying in psalm 7 verse number 17 i will praise the lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the lord most high what will i do unto the lord i will praise the lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the lord most high let us also say this morning to our lord lord i will praise you hallelujah let us all pray together let us close our eyes and with one mind with one desire with one heart let us give our needs to our lord dear heavenly father in the name of jesus for this morning thank you last full morning for protecting us thank you for the good sleep you gave us last night thank you for waking us up this morning we tell you thank you father this morning under your mighty hands thank you for holding it and leading us father in the name of jesus father we worship you father we praise you we are telling you thank you so good you are lord so faithful you are god you are an unchanging god there is no one like you father and this morning hallelujah to together together upon every matters we give it into thy hands we give everyone into thy hands father all those who are hearing this voice today father we bless them in the name of jesus we bless their family life we bless their life partner we bless their children Father we bless the body father all the blessing you have given to them thank you everywhere let your grace prevail father your presence your power to be filled with it father help them lord father let your children be filled with your love father your love every moment let them experience and enjoy it and father your love let it flow through them to others we pray father cover them under your precious blood father especially we pray for the sick in the name of jesus father we give every one into thy hands those who are tied up in sickness who are worried with sickness father your children who are hearing me today father let them be completely restored father let them enjoy complete health we pray in the name of jesus father especially we pray for those who are going through muscle fatigue we are praying for them father where they feel their muscle is becoming weak where they cannot stand where they cannot sit where they cannot walk father we pray for them today we rebuke that sickness in the name of jesus the power of this sickness that is upon their body let it leave it we pray in the name of jesus father let them arise from their bed in the name of jesus let them stand in the name of jesus let them walk in the name of jesus father let them see your glory and thank you father every muscular weakness every muscular disease in the name of jesus let them be healed father extend your hand and make them to walk thank you for the healing in the name of jesus let your children arise and walk and let them go back to the normalcy of life hallelujah father we worship you we praise you thank you father we tell you thank you thank you thank you 
Father, those who have got pain on both their shoulders, we are praying for them today. In the name of Jesus, let that shoulder pain be gone. Let them be completely healed. Thank you, Father, for your mighty hand that is performed. Also, Father, we pray for those affected by Corona. Father, your miraculous healing, let it prevail over your children. For there is nothing impossible for you. Father, you have to heal your children. Every child of yours, visit them without any plague to come near their tent in all the ways to protect them. Father, you have commanded your angels. Father, as per your command, your angels are protecting your children. Father, thank you for you are covering your children under your wings. Cover them under your grace, we pray. Protect your children, those who are in ventilator. Father, those who are seeking the help of oxygen mask. Father, those who are in isolation. Father, heal them instantly and deliver them, Father. Father, in the children's exam, let your grace be there. Every fear of exam, let it be gone. Every worries, let it be gone. That they would be at peace and with the confidence that my God is with me. Let your children write their exams. Father, we bless every church meetings. Let your power prevail. Father, by your mighty power, let your children be delivered. Let many be delivered. Father, strengthen your people. Father, fill them all with your mighty Holy Spirit. Let this day be a great blessing for many. Father, all over in the world, let the mighty power of the Holy Spirit prevail. Let many be delivered from backsliding. Father, let your church be strengthened, Father, we pray. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. Continue speaking to us. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen, Amen, Amen. Let the grace and the peace and the blessing of the Lord increase in abundance. Abundance, I pray. Hallelujah. If you desire anything in your life to be increased, it should be the peace, the happiness, the wisdom and the knowledge of Lord. And as per it increases, you will be blessed in every area of your life. Hallelujah. Today we are going to meditate further from Matthew chapter 24, verse number 42. Matthew 24, 42. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. Hallelujah. Let me read that again. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. The Holy Spirit this morning is telling to us, we children of God, our greatest hope is, our greatest desire should be that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ coming back till what Lord the world has not seen. And the world that cannot see the greatest event that is yet to happen is the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the church that is being prepared for his coming is we, each one of us, we who is the bride. Because we don't know when he will come. Do not be reluctant. Do not waste your time lazily. Do not be worried or concerned about other things. But any time because we don't know when the Lord's coming is. Be prepared. Be awake. The Holy Spirit is reminding us today. Verse number 39 says, And did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will be the coming of the Son of Man. Over here it is showing the time of Noah. It was spoken to Noah. Noah preached. But no one was ready to listen to him. Noah finished the ark. He called everyone. He preached. But no one came along with him to Noah. They thought that Noah is just joking because till date nothing has happened. There was no rain that came from the heavens and a rain that would cause flood. When this man of Noah is preaching, the normal people, the worldly people could not believe it. What did they do? They rejected it. They gave people for marriage. They took people for marriage. They celebrated. They had festivals. They were just enjoying their life. They were saying, this, short, this life is short. We have to enjoy it. Saying this, they were enjoying their life and wasting it away. But finally, flood came. It rained heavily. The ark rose up, but then everything that were not in the ark were destroyed. So this morning, the Holy Spirit is reminding us in that part and then saying, we don't know when Jesus will come. Many a times, dear children, we don't see the desire of the, or an 
or a the great attitude that we want Jesus to come back dear children in our mind we should always have a desire and enthusiasm for his coming we should desire greatly saying my god will come my jesus will come my lord will come and when we live in this great desire more than worldly lusts more than worldly things we will leave everything and we will desire to live closely with the lord this morning the holy spirit is reminding us that dear children if we are left behind we are the losers so be prepared for the coming of the lord always divert your mind in that manner not only to pray but you should prepare yourself so firstly how should we prepare if you desire for the jesus to come soon we should spread the gospel in one way or the other you should be partakers to spread the gospel hallelujah maybe you cannot directly get involved but indirectly somehow or the other whatever you can do ask the lord and he will guide you but be partakers in spreading the gospel hallelujah so when we get involved in the gospel we desire for his coming and also secondly we should order our life accordingly in the coming of the lord jesus christ we should go with him we have to receive the reward and according to that with sound mind we should live our life in this world verse number 44 says therefore you also be ready for the son of man is coming at an hour you do not expect hallelujah in 42 it said watch therefore in verse 44 it says be ready be ready for the coming of a lord jesus because we don't know when he will come what should we do we should always be ready this morning the holy spirit is reminding us be ready to be taken in his coming no one who is hearing this voice today should be left behind you should receive him as your personal savior be partakers of his kingdom hallelujah be ready be awake arise any time when he comes when i hear the trumpet sound of the bridegroom to go with him i am ready and in that in that sound mind we should live and when we live like that we will not be left behind and later on we don't have to grieve so all those who are hearing this voice today let you not be left behind let us all pray together dear heavenly father in the name of jesus we pray father that we would have a sound mind that we would live according to that in this world help us lord to be awake to be prepared for your coming help us lord that we would be taken along with you for that great privilege thank you thank you father for hearing our prayer in jesus name we pray amen 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 let the lord bless you all abundantly this morning and to be ready and prepared for his coming for the wisdom and the knowledge and for his word let us tell him thank you in the name of jesus we will grow we will increase and we will multiply dear children do not forget that because watch therefore for you do not know what hour your lord is coming hallelujah and let the lord bless you abundantly this morning